here's the two minute um, physiology speech that if anybody ever asks you this, and it'll make sense based on everything you've ever heard about yoga and deep breathing, et cetera. Um, when you breathe through your mouth, you oxygenate, right? The problem is when you breathe through your mouth, you aerate about the top third of your lung. The bottom two thirds is where all the blood supply is. When you breathe through your nose, you expand your diaphragm deeply and you, in, you inhale at the bottom two thirds. So the blood supply is where your oxygenation really happens. And so you push more oxygen on that curve into your lungs by breathing through your nose. So there's a method to actually train and breathe through your nose running in the mountains where you just have to run slower for longer, but do that. So there's a reason why when you do that, you acclimatize quicker. If you go to Colorado, there's a reason why your blood supply is so important for people who are endurance guys. And then simultaneously, when you breathe through your nose, weirdly, this took forever for us to figure out, but when air flows past your sinuses, you release nitric oxide. So it's sort of like the fast and furious, right? They hit the nitrous and the car goes flying down the road. When you breathe nitric oxide, it's a vasodilator. So now you've dilated everything even more. So now you're breathing through your nose, dependently oxygenating deeply, and the nitric oxide has opened everything up. So you're like a supercharged engine compared to the 1950s Tacoma truck that's puttering along up the hill. So when you immediately breathe through your mouth, no matter what you're doing, walking down the hall, walking up a flight of stairs, you're nowhere near as efficient. Imagine doing that eight hours a night when you're breathing and you're sleeping, right? So now you're lying flat. You should have everything working in your favor, but you're not. Now you're breathing through your mouth. And the same thing by not oxygenating enough, you never go from that light sleep to deep to REM sleep. So there's a reason why people sleep apnea. Their sleep quality is terrible. They're a mess. They have headaches. They're, they're not functional. Their mentation is sort of off. And people who can deep breathe, big difference. So the yoga deep breathing concept is real, even though it's hard to do. And then, of course, you go to hot yoga and they turn the temperature up to 5,000 degrees, and I feel like I'm suffocating. But if you can change that, even a little, that curve, that oxygen curve, it really matters because a little bit of a percentage will jump you up logarithmically really quick. Um, so it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal because, again, we can, you can live breathing through your mouth, but if you can switch it to that efficient route, it's just you just hit the gas.